the Red Snapper Recreational Sampling Event is a three-day event on the east coast of Florida where we are intercepting recreational anglers as they're coming in from Red Snapper fishing trips offshore. The season's only open for three days this year, so we made a big effort to bring uh, biologists over here to make sure that we could ac accurately sample this season. To collect information on the numbers of boats that are going out offshore to recreational fish this weekend, we are surveying boat traffic through the inlets from Cumberland Sound all the way down to Port St. Lucie. We are counting the boats with FWC staff who are located at the inlets in the mornings and the afternoons, and they count boats as they pass in and out of the inlets. We have FWC staff who are located at public boat ramps and marinas where they're conducting angler interviews. We are also collecting samples from a uh, local fishing tournament site. And we are also meeting the charter boats at the docks and collecting fish samples from Red Snapper. As recreational fishing boats return from offshore, we conduct in-person interviews with the anglers to determine what percentage of those boats were fishing for Red Snapper. We also ask anglers how many fish they harvested and released and how far offshore and at what depths they were fishing. You had three people fishing? Two. Two. About how much time did you spend fishing? Two hours. Two hours? How deep? 130 feet. The angler surveys that we are conducting are voluntary, and so we rely 100% on voluntary participation by the public to provide this information to us. As recreational boats come in, we ask the anglers if they harvested any red snapper, and if they did, we ask for permission to collect a length and a weight from those fish, and we also collect a sample so that the fish can be aged, and that sample is called an otolith. It's a bony structure that sits on the top of the head, uh, which we can, we can pull out by going in through the gill. Once we collect these samples, we take them back to the lab and we are able to cross-section the ear stone or the otolith and put it under a microscope and you can count the rings and that, that determines the age of the fish. Last year we were able to collect over 2,000 samples from harvested red snapper and we expect to collect similar numbers this year.